Hi everyone, it's registered dietitian Jacqueline, and today we're gonna to be making a really easy and delicious vegetable side dish that you can hopefully prepare tonight. Um, it's an asparagus oreganata. So oreganata is typically a topping that you would see over clams or a fish dish, um, but I, I like oreganata and I kind of figured, you know, let me spruce up my asparagus a little bit. I typically either steam it or throw it on the grill or under the broiler, um, which is great, uh, but I wanted to just do something a little bit different. So you're gonna start off with your asparagus uh, washed, dry it really well so that it doesn't steam, you want it to kind of crisp up, and always trim the tough ends off of it, which I've already done. So you'll have that laid out on a cookie sheet, and I always line my cookie sheets with aluminum foil. Uh, the ingredients that we're gonna be using to make our uh, bread crumb mixture is, I just had some leftover bread in my freezer, it's just a couple of pieces of baguette. I would say it's probably about three ounces worth of bread. Uh, two garlic cloves, I have some fresh parsley, uh, oregano, dried oregano, a little olive oil. I'm gonna season my asparagus with some salt and then um, you want some lemon zest. So if you've not zested a lemon before, you're just gonna use a grate and just take your lemon and just turn it so that you're just getting the yellow part um, throughout, okay? So we'll just take care of that now. And then uh, once you got all that taken care of, set that aside. So in your, um, I hope you can see this, in your food processor, just break up your pieces of bread in here. Right. You could also, if you don't have uh, fresh bread or bread in your freezer already stored, you could easily use panko breadcrumbs. Those breadcrumbs are a little bit um, like bigger rather than the fine ones that you would use maybe for like um, you know breaded chicken cutlets or something like that. I think that uh, the coarse the more coarse the bread, it kind of comes out a little bit nicer. Okay, so you get that in there, your garlic, parsley. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do maybe just a pinch of salt in here. About a half teaspoon of oregano, I think is do the trick. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay, cool. Um, I would say like, not much, maybe like half a teaspoon, teaspoon, you don't really need much in there. Okay, I think that does the trick. So now you can, I always like to remove my blade first just for safety reasons. Okay, so set that aside. Um, I, I, do you know what? Honestly, I did forget the, the zest, but that's okay. We're gonna put that in there. No harm done. Okay. All right, so with your asparagus, just give it a little bit of a drizzle here on your olive oil. Not too much, I mean, you really don't need much here. I like to just season a little bit with salt. Okay. All right, so now you're just gonna take your breadcrumbs, just toss in that zest there, and just layer it over the top, just like this. Mm, it smells really good already. You're gonna preheat your oven to 450 degrees. When it's nice and hot, we're gonna put this in there, I would say for about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. If when you take it out, it's not crispy enough, you can always just turn on your broiler and finish crisping it from there. Okay, so I think that just about does it. Just spread it around evenly. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so we're gonna get this in the oven and we'll be back. Beautiful, there we go. All right, let's have a look. So, it came out nice and crisp. I didn't have to put the broiler on and I had mine in for 11 minutes. So I think that that's a good amount of time for you. Um, you're just gonna wanna spread some, uh, squeeze some lemon juice over it. That will really seal the deal. Okay, that looks great. Okay, so there was uh, your asparagus side dish for tonight. Really nice and easy, absolutely delicious. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you soon. Bye.